Our Verify team exists to curb the spread of fake news and to get your questions answered, like this one. Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, so many of us are putting it all out there for the world to see. But what happens when you want to undo or delete a post? So one of our viewers asked us to verify, can you ever really delete yourself off of the internet? We found the experts and then took our viewer along to get the answer firsthand. <laughs> We're at George Washington University today at the Cybersecurity Research Institute looking to verify and answer some questions about your digital footprint online. In fact, Ray is here with us right now. He's the viewer from Maryland who brought this question to our attention, so we're going to get him some answers. Hey, Ray. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice Come to on meet down. you. Gentlemen, hello. My name is Jacob Besida. I'm a master's student of cybersecurity at George Washington University, and I run a cybersecurity podcast called Decrypted. And I'm Professor Lance Hoffman the founder of the Cybersecurity and Privacy Research Institute at GW. So Ray, it looks like we found the perfect guys to talk to to answer your question. Absolutely. What is the biggest question you have that you'd like to pose to them right now? Can you truly delete yourself from the internet? The short answer is, it depends. Professor Hoffman went into the long answer here, and it was pretty complicated. There are a lot of questions that have to be answered, so there's no simple answer but we can try to shed some light on this. Cybersecurity experts say organizations like commercial businesses want to track and compile data about you. Things like your credit history, your shopping habits, and your internet browsing. Ray, are you all over Facebook? All over Facebook. So is Ray's great, 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 great grandkids going to know about his pets and about what he had for lunch? Is there ever any way to delete that off the internet? I think uh, our demo will help explain how that's actually going to pan out. So let's imagine that you're posting something online. Maybe it's an image, maybe it's your profile, and you place that online. Well, perhaps you have second thoughts. Well, the issue is during that time that that was uploaded, it's likely that somebody else downloaded that image and reposted it somewhere else. Now you're going to have to get into an issue of contacting the service provider themselves in order to get it actually removed. And say, after that time-consuming process, you are actually able to get that removed. Throughout all this time, innumerable numbers of people, including automated uh, procedures for scraping information, could be pulling your information, making it next to impossible to have that information removed. To the question, can you ever truly delete yourself off the internet? The short answer is, it depends. The longer answer is, probably not. You've got it. You've got it. Okay, so let's assume there's all kinds of personal information about you online. Somebody wants to get the 411 on you, where are they going to go? Google. So if you Google yourself and you see things you'd rather not have other people see, what can you do about it? Bam, check it. Google literally spells out what you can do to remove your personal information from search results. But spoiler alert, that doesn't mean that they'll take down everything. All right, so here goes. Information that Google will actually remove from their site. Things like your social security number, bank account numbers, credit card numbers, images of your signature, any naked pictures that you don't consent to being online, and your medical records. Now here's a list of things that they actually will not take down. Things like your date of birth, addresses on file for you, or telephone numbers. And then on that first page I showed you, there's actually an entire checklist further down the page of how you can ask Google to remove any other information that wasn't contained in that original list. What's the big takeaway here, Ray? Do you feel like you got the answer to the question? I would definitely say so. So short and narrow is, don't put anything online that you don't want to be there forever. So we're not going to see any more posts about your dog, your cat, and what you had for dinner? Not at all. Just cap stuff. Go Caps! Got something you want verified? Reach out to me directly with those questions. I'm on Facebook and Twitter at Adam Longo TV. You can also email me and the whole team. Verify at WUSA9.com.